Well, first of all, I think everyone will agree that food safety is paramount in the sense that uh, we can't compromise food safety. We need to make sure that our regulatory authorities are clear about that. At the same time, food is a huge business and it's a growing business and it's growing in complexity. And frankly, the consumer is pushing industry because of reputational capital and market share to make food safety a priority. Uh, so industry is partners. And if industry wants to uh, respond to the globalization of the food sector, they need to make food safety one of their priorities. And I think progressive food industry uh, companies understand that and incorporate that into their value chain management. And so we can cooperate with industry to make sure that that trade grows, but in a way that's safe for consumers. And that benefits everyone. Well, I think food safety cooperation is important. I think you're referring to it between government and industry is that in the end of the day, we all share a common goal and, uh, you know, taking care of the public and public health protection. And I think when we collaborate, we're able to learn from each other and we have different pieces of information. And um, I think in the absence of collaboration, we don't get the chance to see the whole picture. Mm -hmm. And again, if you're looking at protecting the public and protecting our consumers, mm -hmm. uh, being able to make informed decisions <laughs> requires um, knowledge and information to help us with that. And really, that is a government industry interaction that I think is critical. Important. Mm -hmm. Trade always is fast than the regulations, and you try to stop trade with with uh, with regulations. But uh, it's important to, for example, for us to have uh, equal regulation for all of us, for all in, in this case for all the economies, and to work with um, an, a well-known basis that this is the. This is the game, and, and we will work in this way. So as you see today, we are not so different. We are doing the same things in a different way, but the same things. We are trying to coordinate and talk with all the authorities to uh, fix a problem of, of food safety incident management. And that's a good uh, result of, the, of this workshop, that we are doing the same things. We share information, and it's not just industry to industry, it's industry to government. I think that's really what APEC is unique in doing, is that um, they really have been promoting this um, government to government and government to industry partnership and saying, you know, how do we take advantage of all the resources that are available and uh, use those to our advantage. Mm -hmm. Uh, information sharing is very important. I learn a lot from experience from other economies and that helps me a lot and bringing away materials and information resource and all this helps a lot when we go back, we read through them and try and apply to our own situations. Well, there's a great number of uh, APEC economies here with vastly different experiences in the area of food safety. Uh, the APEC economies represent such a huge part of the global economy and a huge amount of uh, two-way trade. And so in that regard, I think cooperation amongst these economies on food safety issues and in the globalization of food, uh, there is a tremendous amount to be gained. And I think that a lot of the action is actually on the Pacific Rim. And so uh, we, we should be working together to make sure that uh, trade happens in a seamless way and in a way that benefits consumers.